This video is meant to be a brief overview of the Rolex AJGA rankings. For complete information, visit AJGA.org rankings. The rankings were created to help guide the process of naming Rolex Junior All-America teams and also help select and fill AJGA invitational fields. The rankings operate on a 52-week rolling cycle and players are ranked based on the average points earned per tournament. A minimum divisor of six is set, so players who play in six or less tournaments will have their point total divided by six. Those who play in more than six tournaments will have their point total divided by the number of tournaments played. Each start in a ranked tournament counts toward a player's ranking. The rankings includes all AJGA tournaments and a select listing of non-AJGA tournaments. Specific team events may qualify for bonus point recognition and they do not increase a player's divisor. A tournament included in the rankings is assigned points ranging from 10 to 150 based on the strength of field calculation once the tournament has concluded. Once an initial tournament point level has been established, a tournament has the ability to rise in value with each rankings update throughout the remainder of the current rankings year. A tournament can rise as high as the 150 point level, but it will not decrease in value. At the end of the rankings year, which typically occurs with events over Columbus Day weekend in October, the tournament point value is locked and doesn't change. Each tournament series has an associated minimum tournament point value. Regardless of strength of field, each tournament in that series will earn at least the minimum point value. Additionally, certain open and non-AJGA tournaments have earned a higher minimum point value for the current rankings year. Specific invitational type tournaments have a point value of 225. This tournament value is locked and doesn't change throughout the rankings year. The tournament point value is also the number of rankings points earned by the winner of the tournament. So a player who wins a 40 point tournament will receive 40 rankings points for that finish. All players who finish a ranked tournament, including those who miss the cut, earn rankings points. Ties at any finish position receive the same points as a solo finish at that position. So if three players tied for third place, they each earn third place points. A chart is available online to show the points earned at each finishing position for every tournament point level. At the end of each rankings year, the Rolex Junior All-America teams are announced, which highlight the top junior golfers from that season. I hope this overview was helpful as an introduction to the Rolex AJGA rankings. For more information, visit AJGA.org rankings.